एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय क्लास दिस इज रुमान अली आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल द वर्ल्ड ऑफ माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स पार्ट टू सो अप टिल वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द एंटीबायोटिक्स एंटीबायोटिक्स आर नथिंग बट द ड्रग्स और द मेडिसिन दैट कैन बी प्रिस्क्राइब बाय द डॉक्टर इन ऑर्डर टू क्योर द डिफरेंट डिजीजेस इफ वी फॉल इल then uh, by taking that medicines uh, we can be healthy we can cure ourselves but sometimes there are some uh, substances or there are uh, certain methods by which we can prevent the disease antibiotics are uh, the medicines that can stop or control the infection of the bacteria or infection of the other microorganisms but there is a process called vaccination by which we can prevent the disease so vaccination is a process by which the prevention of disease can takes place the vaccines are prepared and they are injected into the body of a person in order to prevent the disease so by that it can so by that they can get the protection against that particular disease throughout the lifetime for example children below 5 years they will be given uh, they will be given oral uh, polio vaccine so by injecting or by giving the oral polio vaccine to that children they will not get or they will not suffer from the disease called polio throughout their lifetime in this way the vaccination is a process that helps us to prevent the diseases okay so here let us see the difference between the antibiotics and vaccines antibiotics and vaccines both are derived from the microorganisms only but the function of the antibiotic is to control the growth of the microorganism or to control the bacterial infection in our body and the role of the vaccine is to prevent the disease to eradicate the disease so by that we will not get the disease throughout of our lifetime this kind of protection is provided by taking or by injecting the vaccines in the persons okay so this is the difference between the antibiotics and vaccines now so by the vac so when some disease causing organisms enter in our body or the foreign particles entered in our body then our body can recognize them and after recognizing they will develop certain substances they will produce certain substances in our body and that special substances are called as antibodies so these antibodies will fight against that microorganisms or the foreign particles that has been entered in our body and they deactivate the activity of that microorganisms by deactivating or by neutralizing they kill that microorganisms and they protect our body from the diseases because uh, when the microorganisms enter in our body they will cause the diseases to prevent that diseases or to stop the infection these antibodies are produced in our body after recognizing that foreign particles and they fight against them and they protect us against the different diseases they protect us from the different diseases so this is a general mechanism let us see how the vaccines are helping us to increase our immunity how they help us to improve our immunity so when we inject the vaccine first we'll see what are vaccines vaccines are nothing but the microorganisms the weak microorganisms these weak microorganisms when we inject them in a person's body then after injecting these microorganisms into the body of a person the per uh, the person's body recognizes some uh, recognizes that these microorganisms entered their body and they start producing the substances called antibodies and these antibodies fight against these microorganisms they kill these microorganisms and after killing or after deactivating these microorganisms they remain in our body uh, the antibodies which are produced after recognizing these uh, vaccines that are injected in our body they remain in our body for a longer period of time or in uh, or in some cases these antibodies uh, will remain in our body till the death of the person for the lifetime they will be present in our body so in this way one question will come in our mind that is vaccines are weak microorganism so by injecting microorganisms does it leads to any disease no it doesn't leads to any disease because these are very weak microorganisms and they are injected for the purpose of production of antibodies in order to produce the antibodies we are injecting these vaccines which are weak microorganism so after the production of the antibodies they will be killed by these uh, antibodies and these antibodies will remain in our body for the longer period of time so whenever the microorganisms enters in our body by infection at that time we need not to take any medicines the medicines has already been produced in our body that is nothing but antibodies so these antibodies fight against that uh, bacteria or 
or the other microorganisms and they prevent the action of the microorganisms and also stop them uh, to cause any disease in our body. So, this is the mechanism how the vaccine works. Vaccines are the weak microorganisms. So, we are injecting these vaccines or the weak microorganisms artificially for the production of antibodies in the body. Okay. So, this is about the vaccines and these vaccines are used to cure many diseases like measles, chicken pox, small pox, mumps and many more. So, these are the diseases that can be prevented by injecting the vaccines. Uh, you might have seen uh, that the children below the 5 years, they were given oral polio vaccine. So, by taking that por oral polio vaccine, they will not get the polio disease throughout their lifetime. In this way, the vaccines are working in a very effective manner in order to produce the antibodies in our body. So, by the production of the antibodies, we can keep our body safe from these dreadful diseases. So, we will talk about vaccination ke process. Ke mein. Pehle hum ki antibodies and vaccines are different. Antibodies are the medicines that control karte hai bacterial infections ko or bacterial growth. Ko. Vaccines are the microorganisms, aise weak microorganisms, which after body mein inject the body, antibodies produce hote hai, aur fir wo antibodies produce and weak microorganisms ke mein fight karne ke baad, ye log, ye microorganisms ko deactivate and the antibodies present in our body for a longer period of time and when there is any infection, hota hai hume, to wo, uh, antibodies hume protect karte hai. So, in this way, vaccines are the weak microorganisms when we inject them artificially the production of the antibodies takes place and that antibodies fight against these weak microorganisms and helps to protect our body from the diseases like measles chickenpox smallpox mumps and many more diseases now we are going to study about the discovery of vaccines we have seen that the vaccines are nothing but the attenuated or the weak microorganisms that were injected into the body in order to produce the antibodies okay so how these uh, vaccines are discovered in the 18th century the people were dying because of the simple diseases so a person named edward jenner he discovered the vaccine against a disease called smallpox in his village many of the people were dying because of the smallpox he observed that the milkmaids that were present in his village they were suffering from cowpox and the people who were suffering from cowpox they were not getting the disease called smallpox so by observing this he came to know that the smallpox can be cured by injecting the fluid of the cowpox so after observing this he carried out one experiment he called one milkmaid and a boy then he take the fluid which is present in the pustules the milkmaid uh, is a lady who were uh, suffering from a disease called cowpox so the blisters which were formed on the hands or the legs of this milkmaid it was filled with some fluid so Edward Jenner, he took the fluid from the blisters of the cowpox and he inject this fluid into the body of this healthy boy. After injecting the fluid in the healthy boy, then again he inject the fluid taken from the smallpox patient. Then after injecting the fluid also or after injecting the virus which can cause the smallpox, he was not infected with the disease called smallpox. So, by this observation he came to know that the fluid which can cause the cowpox this can be uh, used to treat the disease called smallpox cowpox is a disease which is not dreadful it's a very mild disease but smallpox was a very dreadful disease at that time so to treat this dreadful disease he used the fluid from the uh, patients who were suffering from the cowpox so in this way the vaccine was discovered against the disease called smallpox by the scientist or by the doctor named Edward Jenner. By this he understood that this cowpox prevented the boy from getting the infection of the smallpox. So, in this way the vaccination for the smallpox is developed. Vaccines ko discover karne wale pehle scientist ka name hai aur pehle microbiologist ka name hai Edward Jenner. Edward Jenner ek aise microbiologist hai jo sabse pehle vaccine uh, banaye 
एक ड्रेडफुल डिजीज के लिए जिसको हम बोलेंगे स्मॉल पॉक्स स्मॉल पॉक्स एक ऐसी ड्रेडफुल डिजीज हो गई थी एटीन सेंचुरी में जिसकी वजह से कई डेथ्स हो रहे थे और इसको कंट्रोल करने के लिए उन लोग को वैक्सीन की बहुत ज्यादा जरूरत थी तो उस सिचुएशन में एडवर्ड जर्नर ने ऑब्जर्व किया है कि जो भी मिल्क प्रेजेंट है विलेज में जो भी पर्सन काउ पॉक्स से सफर हुए हैं वो स्मॉल पॉक्स से सफर नहीं हुए हैं तो इस प्रिडिक्शन को टेस्ट करने के लिए इनकी इस प्रिडिक्शन को टेस्ट करने के लिए इन्होंने एक एक्सपेरिमेंट किया है उस एक्सपेरिमेंट में उन्होंने जो भी फ्लूड था काउ पॉक्स के ब्लिस्टर्स में उसको लिया है और फिर एक पर्सन की बॉडी में इंजेक्ट किया है और फिर वही पर्सन की बॉडी में जब वायरस इन्फेक्ट किया गया है स्मॉल पॉक्स का वायरस इंजेक्ट किया गया है तब वो वायरस के इंजेक्ट करने के बाद में भी उस पर्सन में स्मॉल पॉक्स नहीं हुआ है तो इस ऑब्जर्वेशन से ये पता लगा है कि जो भी काउ पॉक्स का फ्लूड है वो वैक्सीन की तरह इस्तेमाल कर सकते हैं स्मॉल पॉक्स को ट्रीट करने के लिए सो इन दिस वे द वैक्सीनेशन डेवलप्ड बाय यूजिंग द काउ पॉक्स फ्लूड बाय द एडवर्ड जेनर इन ऑर्डर टू ट्रीट द डिजीज कॉल्ड स्मॉल पॉक्स सो वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द यूजफुल माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम इन the next class i'm going to explain you or i will explain you about the harmful microorganisms thank you